All right, today is our dollar store challenge. We've got another tool that we've purchased from the dollar store. I think it was another dollar 25 item. So, um, and I'm gonna compare, this is a nine inch roller frame. We're just gonna kind of go over it and compare it to a professional quality tool because can you save money? Can you get professional results using a tool like this? So this is a tool bench roller and just some First um, things I've noticed about this thing right here, because we're, we're always hooking our rollers to extension poles. So if you look at the diameter, inside diameter of this, um, it's not gonna fit on any extension pole a professional painter has. Another thing I notice inside, I look inside this thing and it has um, kind of an attempt at threads, but it's not threaded. So it's not gonna thread onto anything. So there's a handle. You're not gonna be able to attach it to anything. It's gonna to have to be just used in your hand itself. Small, tiny handle, um, not much to grip, but it's there. Another thing um, we noticed right off the bat is the diameter of the metal framework on this. And one of the things a professional roller does, it doesn't have much flex to it. Because what happens is when you get a roller that has a lot of flex, you're gonna get an edge right here coming off your roller, off your roller cover, and it's gonna leave a heavy edge, which is gonna leave lap marks all over your wall. So um, simple um, you know, observance about this thing, not high quality, it's probably not gonna last very long. But we're gonna put it to the test. Uh, that unfortunately, they don't have rollers there. They sell you know, nine inch, uh, roller frames, but not covers. So I'm just gonna throw on a paint life, you know, um, woven roller on it. And we're gonna put this thing to the test and see, you know, how it rolls a wall. And there it is, um, hooked up. Uh, one of the other things I noticed is the reach with it. So not only can you not attach it to an extension pole, but you have less reach. And what they're doing is in order to make this thing $1.25, they're just going to um, add less material to it. Cheaper plastic, um, smaller diameter metals, and less metal. So another thing you're gonna run into with cheap quality roller frames is your roller will have a tendency to slide off really easily with very little pressure. So as you're rolling down your wall, if you're not paying attention to the direction, if you're rolling this way, your roller could easily slide off fall on the floor, that could end up being a big problem. Uh, the more you use it, you know, the more um, it's gonna, or the easier it's gonna slide up. Here's another thing, um, how well does it spin? You can see it doesn't spin very well at all. That's gonna be a big problem. It's gonna cause the paint to drag on the wall. I'll compare that, I'll take the same roller cover, throw it onto a professional roller frame, spin it, it spins fairly easy. Professional roller frame, it has a locking mechanism that it actually locks on there so it doesn't slip off. And it takes a lot of pressure to actually get it off. But can you actually paint with a thing? It's gonna be a dangerous thing to do, but we're gonna actually give it a try, put it to the test now and see if we can actually paint a wall with it. All right, so let's load this thing. So here's gonna be one of the big problems because this thing doesn't spin freely, is it going to slide? And we can already see it's not turning, so it's gonna be a little bit difficult to load up my roller. This is gonna get frustrating really fast. So this is one of the things, buying tools from the paint from a dollar store, even just from your local hardware store. This is when do-it-yourselfers are telling me, you know, they hate painting. And these are the kind of things, these tools are gonna make anybody hate painting, really. So, you know, getting professional tools, not only are you gonna paint faster and more efficient, but this is part of what makes the job enjoyable, is having things that actually function and work correctly. So it's just gonna take me a long time to load this thing up and then already I'm what I'm noticing there's a huge gap on the end right here so paint can easily get inside in between the end right there and start to fill up the inside of this and you could easily get drips so now I can begin rolling I'll get this thing loaded up um, it's still dragging and not sliding or it's dragging and not rolling and so you're gonna see 
see how it drags and so it's leaving drag and that's a problem right there. Um, so as it drags, it's going to cause um, drips and runs. It's starting to move a little bit more freer now. But I'll show you as you roll, if you're rolling the wrong direction, it's already starting to slide off of the roller itself. It's causing heavy drip marks, you know, right there because it's dragging when I'm coming down and coming back up. And now it's actually, it's getting loaded up. It's getting heavier and now it's not actually spinning at all in my pan. And so it's not loading up properly. And it's dragging right here, laying, not laying the paint out properly. You can see closely I'm rolling it and it's not actually rolling at all. So it's not loading up the roller. When I start to put pressure, enough pressure that I like, you're going to start to see these edges right here that you would have to lay them out and be very particular, light, lay them out, and then the roller is dragging when I'm trying to lay it out. So there's just a few of the things, you know, about a roller like this, why you just really wouldn't want to use something like this. A dollar twenty-five um, versus you know the roller I really like to use, roller frame, a premier um, blue tiger right here, professional quality roller. You know, this thing literally maybe might last you, you know, a day, one job. Um, a roller like this is gonna last you years. So once there it's beginning to drip paint because it's getting inside of the roller frame itself. So we've already got drips all over the place. Um, so, you know, professional tools can last you a lot longer. It's not gonna cause a lot of these frustrating issues right here. Don't invest in dollar tools. Make painting uh, fun, faster, and more efficient. Get great tools.